Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will continue my conversation about the sentiment analysis and do the sentiment analysis on the tweets related to the word Trump or what people are really tweeting about the president, US president Ronald Trump. So we have seen it earlier in one of the videos about how we can set up a connection with Twitter and get the data and create a word cloud like this as well as we have seen in our previous video about sentiment analysis as how to calculate the sentiments. So in this uh, video we will take our conversation further and uh, create a word cloud as well as uh, you know input the sentiments into it and see it in action. Alright so let's go ahead and start running the command that I have for sentiment analysis. So the first thing is uh, importing the library which is sentiment r and once you import it uh, let's get this tweets.df the data frame that we created earlier um, and uh, take the value text from it and remove the uh, alphanumeric word which is like a standard uh, text processing or cleansing of data. So you can basically do this pattern matching logic just take it from here and uh, start cleaning it so control enter uh, removing the HTTP link uh, removing the any RT related retweet related word and uh, re removing uh, the at the rate sign now so control enter and making the tweets into lower generally they are in lower but it's not a harm if you do it so that's how you can very easily cleanse the Twitter data uh, further based on what you cleaned it already for from word cloud. After this, what you can do, uh, as I have seen or we have seen into the previous video, uh, you can run this function sentiment and get the sentiment related to the tweets. So I will press Control Enter. So the sentiments are now stored into here, and let's take uh, the view of these words so here we have element id sentence id how many number of words at sad in tweet and what's what is the sentiment after that uh, what we will do is we will take the sentiment column and include in our data frame so that to the sentiment is attached to each tweet and it is it will be useful when we are creating a word cloud and segregating the tweets by positive and negative so what we are doing is creating a new column with dollar sign so now with this uh, new column will be added to data frame and uh, let's press Ctrl enter and view tweet start data frame so here we have the different tweets and i think down there we have the sentiment column all right that's great so uh, with this we can then get the positive tweets and get the negative tweets so what we are doing here is basically we are taking the tweets or sent, we are ordering the data set into a decreasing order to, to basically get the positive tweets. That means the uh, positive values or the positive number of sentiment as a first value and then uh, you have the negative value and after that uh, what we are taking is basically just first and uh, 17th column the first column and 17th column and then finally with the hat command or the hat function we are taking only first 25 rows all right let's do the control enter and let's see the first 25 positive tweets so here we have the first 25 positive tweets after this uh, what we can do is after analyzing our text as you can see there you have a lot of uh, duplicate one so we can actually introduce unique function and take only unique positive tweets so let's take the unique positive tweets and view them all right uh, here if we see we have the unique tweets not like the earlier one where one tweet like this was repeating again and again maybe it was one of the very positive tweets all right so after this uh, we need to write a table uh, so to create a word cloud so here write dot table command I am right doing and uh, uh, storing it into a text file with the giving the just the text positive tweets dollar text to create the word cloud so control enter 
and negative tweets i am going ahead and creating similar command that i ran it for positive tweets and uh, same unique tweets unique tw first 25 tweets i'm taking for negative tweets so control enter writing the table all right and after that what i am doing over here is again uh, creating a vector based on the positive and negative tweets but i think that's pretty optional you may want to do it i was just trying to do some evaluation but that step is optional after this uh, whatever tables that we have uh, written based on this write table command for positive and negative tweets we are reading it with the help of the corpus command that is present in the library text mining so let's first import the library tm text mining and then when we will run this command corpus within corpus we are presenting the source as a directory source and the directory information so once we do that we get the tweets corpus and after that we can create a summary i'm not creating it over here so let's go ahead and uh, and run clean the tweets based on the standard uh, operations that we have been performing in past so many videos so lowering the words and removing the punctuation again removing the stop words removing white space stemming the document and then uh, basically changing the the tweets into a term document matrix where a cross tabular matrix is created where on the rows you have the terms and on the columns you have the documents probably i'll create a separate video for term document matrix just to explain it because i received few questions uh, that there is one term document matrix and there is document term matrix what are they so maybe you know i can create a separate video and help you understand more in depth but what you can currently understand that uh, each of the terms have been identified in each row and in columns you have the documents and basically whenever any term is appearing any document then in that way uh, a positive or a one or zero is basically given and based on that frequency we are able to calculate uh, how frequent or or uh, you know how many times a word is basically coming in each of the document and then produce a word cloud out of it so once we do that uh, we can uh, we have created the document term matrix and we need to convert it into a proper matrix to clearly segregate between the negative and positive tweets as i am giving a column name over here for comparison cloud so we need we are using as dot matrix command to convert document term matrix into a matrix and then uh, we will take give the positive and negative tweets to this matrix so we are just creating the column names or giving a column names to the matrix as negative tweets and positive tweets and then finally we are creating the comparison cloud for on this matrix that has the segregation with negative tweets and positive tweets and then uh, we are saying that maximum words it should show is 100 takes 100 and uh, random order is equals to false so you know it from previous videos why we are doing it so let's create it control enter and here we have so these are the negative tweets that's what people are basically saying when they are tweeting negative about uh, president donald trump and here you have the the positive tweets that uh, that people are saying so this is like uh, the extreme end of uh, both positive and negative and we are able to show it with the help of two different colors by doing this entire operation also what you can do is um, you can produce a neutral rating also those people who are neutral what they are really tweeting and what they are basically saying about uh, about president tweet uh, president uh, donald trump so in that way you will have the three categories the pos negative positive and neutral and neutral will be probably plot over here or here based on how how uh, the word cloud will going to take it and in that way you will have a much better representation from the perspective of the what positive tweets are what negative tweets are and what neutral tweets are so in that way uh, you get a better understanding uh, with 
with uh, with these tweets and what what people are saying and categorizing that entire information based on the sentiment analysis and then using the word cloud to to produce it and uh, and analyzing the data so that's pretty much all i wanted to talk about for positive and negative tweets and i will meet you in the new video the new topic